Holy crap. So I've been building a modern-ish rig an Optiplex PC build. Uh, and today I got my, well, for some stupid reason I decided to put in 32 gigabytes of DDR3, which is what the Optiplex will, uh, 1600 megahertz, because that's all the motherboard supports. So I absolutely could not get these two to read. The system just would not boot if I had the, well, let's see, let's see, that's one, three. So if I had two and four filled with RAM, it just would not boot. You just get a black screen of death. And I looked up everything. I updated the BIOS. I did this. I did that. And then I randomly came across a post where someone said some bent springs or bent, uh, not, uh, what are the bent, uh, things in the processor. Holy crap. I can't even think right now because it's working and I'm happy, but, uh, Basically, my last ditch effort was to pull the fan off and pull the processor out, and sure enough, there was some fuzz or some other gunk in the processor that I had to clean off, and when I cleaned it off, uh, bent pins in the processor, that's what I was thinking, but the fuzz was in there, and I was like, oh crap, and I, I hope I got as much as, I obviously got enough of it off. But there's still some of it gunked up in the pins, just stuck in there, and I'm not touching it. I'm not bending any more pins. I was so scared I was going to bend the pins, but sure enough, I cleaned that crap off that was in between the processor, the the Intel Core i7 4790 that is in here. Uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. I uh, upgraded with a 500 uh, watt power supply and used this little. Uh, uh, eight pin adapter thing. Uh, I got a, I probably overdid it on the power supply considering that, uh, basically you just adapt it to this eight pin thing and I'm still using the Dell proprietary SATA power, whatever. Anyway, it's, I was just got excited about this build and yes, I got a GTX 750 Ti as my stand in GPU, which actually plays pretty well. Uh, I've been showing some gameplay footage but so there you have it if you have an optiplex and you're having trouble with all four slots you can update the bios uh different uh slots but uh in the end uh i pulled off the processor and sure enough there is some gunk i don't know it looked like ash or cigarette ash or maybe it was some like old uh was it uh crap I can't even think of the uh, heat, what's it, the, the goo, the heat goo. Yes, that's the official term for it, heat goo. Uh, I don't know what it was, but there was something blocking. It was stuck on the back of my processor. I cleaned that off, and it was stuck in the pins, and I got as much of it out as I could with tweezers. And uh, sure enough, I'm here at the uh, BIOS, and uh, yeah, so now I have 32 gigs of RAM. So, I hate computers and computers hate me, but luckily this worked and I didn't bend any pins that I'm aware of. I guess I'll find out. <laughs> uh, I was already freaking out looking for new motherboards. I was like, crap, I was supposed to do a budget build and whatnot and I've already spent too much money on this stupid thing. Now, now I'd have to see it through. Um, so the Optiplex route, in theory, is a budget way, but if... The system is kind of goobered and screwed up. Uh, there's a, yeah, there's, uh, there's issues with buying refurbished stuff. But other than that, the 750 Ti actually works pretty well. It's a refurb. I bought it probably too much for it after shipping and taxes. It was like a hundred bucks, but you know, it's like twice as what it's supposed to go for. But it still works really well. But, uh, yeah, so this is my current PC build nightmare. I already finished my XP rig, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I have a SSD. I don't know how to get that running on this thing, and so I'm still on the hard drive, but, uh, you watch a lot of the channels that show this kind of stuff, uh, they go through all of that, so, anyway. I'm happy. It's working, and I didn't break it. For once. Ha <laughs> ha knock on wood. Thank you.